it's only a matter of time, because even a single invigoration on this uh, sword arm of dragon would get him over two skull. So, yeah. pretty unlucky for him so far. But, uh, yeah. The more monsters he throws out, the uh, more his odds of getting a power up increase. So, or like multiple power ups, you know. Yeah, because he's down to like how many cards in his deck? I haven't been paying attention, really. Uh, 26 cards in Yeah, he's got to get some power up soon. Alright, these things find out what that card is. And how about summons? I have that. Okay, that seems pretty straightforward. I will activate Goblins. A secret remedy. Because it's the remedy. It's the right now. It's the game to risk liaison. And your move. Pumpkin's about to be pretty good to charge in here in a minute. That's awesome. Uh, okay. Power increase. Someone's call go. Uh, these things go. Uh, let's flip this one up. Let's start getting the experience going. And I think this is a magic card, so let's box it in here. Okay. In the turn. Yeah, that way Toon Summon Skull can keep marching on toward Rex there. Okay. Moving back. Alright. Alright. Uh, let's check with Toon Skull first. What is this, Rex? Magic card, huh? Yeah, you do play those too. Wasteland. Okay. Let's uh, take over this. Yeah. It is. Rage Body. Oh, we did have a power up? <laughs> he said a power up. This guy. This guy. Okay. We can play some more traps now, as well as a magic card. Um, let's just play uh, this right here for when it evolves. Uh, yeah, we can power it up to ultimate, you know, great monster. Uh, he should come here and attack this, so let's get the turn. If it is a monster, right? Oh, you're not gonna run over your own card, bro? Aww. Uh, at least he didn't power this up. Uh, what is it? What is it? Practical. Not bad. Not a bad monster. But I've got a little something for your practical. In fact, you may say it's a practical solution. Yeah. So let's flip up Koopa of Moth. Yeah, so now that it's been five turns, it evolves into this. And uh, yeah, Koopa of Moth only needs one turn. Transform is into perfectly ultimate great moth if this card survives one turn base up. Uh, defense position after being flipped by the control player. Destroyed in battle, revives as Great Moth. Baby Great Moth. So, okay. Ooh. We are drawing traps when we need to, baby. Um, Neckle Guy, you stay right there. And we're gonna send a little Mesmeric Control your way, Rex. Yeah. And we're gonna just leave this in defense. Let's attack. Another magic card. Wow. Okay, invigoration. I am getting a little worried because with them playing all the magic cards, it does say the summoning stars, so. Simon no Jutsu. Yeah, so. He could bring out Brachio Radius here, honestly. Oh, he just stayed put. Wow. Wow. Transform. He built. Perfectly. Ultimately. It won't. There we go, baby. <laughs> yeah, and I showed this in some of the bonus episodes. Pretty cool that we got to summon it in a regular episode. Power it up. 4,000, baby. It's Obelisk. It's Obelisk that also drains second defense from it. Pretty good. Uh, we'll move Mesmeric here. Let's go ahead and dump a Petite Moth while we're at it. Yeah. 
because I'm pretty sure I only have like one uh, Kakuno evolution in this deck. So, all right, Neko Gal, you're right. Attack. Fury swipes. And I'm going to get a drink. But yeah, uh, for this episode, obviously I started it right after the last one. I think we're just going to finish this duel. Uh, if we got a reincarnation, we'll do that and we'll call it good. Some, uh, some chili cheese fries that someone made here at the house. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. With a little ranch. Mm -mm. That was terrible. Good job, Neckle Gap. Number two. Uh, let's see if we can get him to run over his own car. Um, pumpkin, you, s you gain a little more points. And we're gonna, yeah. I guess he could summon, yeah, and attack Necrogale, actually. Wow. If he wants to. Oh, he finally got the Brachia. Yeah, I was a little worried about that, because like I said, I was like, yeah, he keeps uh, saving his summoning star, so. Mm, that makes it more likely, you know. Crazy. Crazy it took him this long to either, you know, either A or B, find Brachio or play the power up. But at long, long last, sadly, down goes the great hero, Toon Summon Skull. I mean, you did good though. Honestly, after all the monsters you killed, I wouldn't be surprised if Toon Skull got promoted at the end of this, uh, this duel here. Yeah, man, we only need like two turns to weaken him too for Brachio. That's crazy. Well done, Rex. You got yourself out right of that jam. Alright. Ah, so this isn't even a uh, monster. That's interesting. Okay. Well, we can play a new monster now. And I've got a pretty good one in mind, folks. Uh, so, I'm gonna put this for Pumpkin. We're gonna have this Pumpkin power up the other Pumpkin. And that's why this strategy is so good, folks. So, have this pumpkin go in, and then, if it didn't dismiss the type of this nickel gal, let's have this nickel gal retreat, and uh, yeah, we'll try to keep both, realistically, probably gonna lose this one, as far as the race, so, the race for time, yeah, because in comes Brachio, so, alright, power decrease, okay, pumpkin ran over this magic card, I I'm gonna laugh if this is eternal rest, like, really hard. Oh, um, that makes sense. Um, he's down to 25. Oh, maybe. Hmm, I don't want to get rid of Shadow of Eyes, but, you know, maybe we can help her out just in time. Uh, let's move this one up. Try to trick him. Let's make it seem like this one's closer, this one's further away. And then, yeah, defense mode. You power up the other pumpkin and yourself, and we're good. As long as he doesn't play Eternal Rest, we're looking pretty good. Oh, that's got to be a monster, so, and you can't switch to defense, sir, so. Ah, we did trick him. Nice, 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 nice. All right. Yummy. Yeah, the ultimate combo. Extra attack each turn and extra defense lost for you. All right, guys, well, let's see it for the first time. Pumpkin, the king of ghosts, is about to attack. Uh, let's, let's do it. Let's see what Pumpkin's attack looks like. Two-headed King Rex. Yeah, he finally got it with a power-up, but it's a little, it's a little too little too late, Rex. I guess he used Invigoration. Yeah, because normally it's at 21, decreased by 100. Yeah, he finally got an Invigoration on it. What's he gonna use? Go Pumpkin, rise from the grave. Deadly Go Pumpkin, deadly zombie breath. Endoplasmic fortification. Aww. Two headed rich, no likely poison breath. <laughs> oh man, that battle cry though. Oh, Pumpkin looks epic though. Look at that art. So cool. Alright, he's down to 13 bitty. And we got Shadow of Eyes. We should wrap this up pretty soon here. Alright. Ooh, bad decision. 
I activate my trap card, this traps your monster and snares it in a spiral vortex for three whole turns. Yeah, decrease that power, baby. Alright, let's go, pumpkin. Uh, we'll just defend in the turn. Don't really need to do much else. Uh, bad spot to run, bro. Because you're going to be trapped regardless. Yeah, either you got to run over your own Brachio or face the wrath of my Nekogal. Which will you choose? Go ahead. Ooh, bad decision. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Feels bad, man. Hmm. And he's actually not summoning. Maybe I can get him to turn lock here, honestly. Uh, let's move here. Let's see if he summons here. If he doesn't summon for the next couple turns... Oh, okay, okay. In that case, I will defeat you, sir. <laughs> you couldn't even defeat my Nickel Gal? What is your problem? Wow. You think he would have been able to after saving a lot of summoning stars, but uh, I guess not. Uh, Pumpkin, destroy this monster. Oh, 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 it was just perfectly. Good thing I put Nickel Gal in defense. But uh, yeah, Yurabi is going down. It's time for you to face the deadly zombie Brent. <laughs> oh boy. I didn't do the math, yeah. Alright, we win. Does Pump King level up? No. Ooh, and neither did Toons on the Skull. That's interesting. They definitely got a lot of experience, though. Okay. What's good here? What's good here? I guess Wasteland is kind of good since I'm running Pumpkins now. Let's try for Wasteland. Ooh, got it. Nice. Let's try for a three in a row, shall we? Invigoration, I guess? Close, close, close. Uh, three solid cards, though. Wasteland's pretty helpful, honestly. If nothing else to change the field on Weevil. Alrighty, guys. Okay, and we only need, wow, we only need one more duel for a reincarnation. But I don't want to time out of, you know, two episodes in a row. So we're just going to, like I said, you know what, I'll keep you guys on the screen while I do a few deck edits, and we'll just end it there. Yeah. Alright, and next episode I may only do like eh, two or three duels, 20 minutes worth of duels, like a shorter episode, just so we get that reincarnation. So when a reincarnation is like that close, I, I hate to end the recording session, because it just kind of eats at me like, man, what could I reincarnate, man? Uh, let's see. So, yeah, we do have Wasteland in here. Does this have a lot of zombies? It does. Okay, so what has about 30 deck costs in here? Um, yeah, the pumpkins work. I guess we can take out Quagar. How many uh, insect power ups do I have in this deck? Um, three? Just three? Okay, yeah. We'll take out Vagar. We'll take out... We'll take out two of the insect power-ups. Hmm. Well, actually, if that only leaves us with, uh... I should take them all out. Yeah, I really should. It looks like the insects are finally leaving this deck. So, okay. Wasteland in. But Ross pretty good. Uh, let's go by types here. So, what fuses with zombies? Um, speaking of zombies, let's see if I have any zombies. Any low-level ones I can throw in? 
Uh, I know zombies do fuse with warriors, so maybe Mass Knight? Uh, uh, you know what? We'll throw in Battle Warrior over Mass Knight. Battle Warrior, you know, he, he deserves it, man. You can't underestimate his powerful fists of fury. Alright. See ya, Mass Knight. Um, and I am in types here. Uh, ooh, I should put this card in my deck. 2250 is pretty good, yeah. Um... Let's see, actually, don't I have beast fangs in here? Oh, I do. And you are pure beast, yeah? Hmm. Welcome to the party, my friend. Yeah, okay. And then, uh, let's see if there's any zombies that I forgot about. Job change mirror, I could start throwing that stuff in. Eh, I'll wait till we get more job change mirror stuff. But, uh, zombies. Where are the zombies? These are all the insects. <laughs> All the dinos. We've done lots of duels versus uh, Rex. Uh, fish? Where are the zombies? Are they like higher up? Uh, thunders? I feel like we skipped the zombies. <laughs> if we did, it's no big deal. Uh, still recording? Rocks? Oh, yeah, we definitely skipped the zombies. Uh, dragon? Spellcaster? There's the zombies. Oh man, I just have so few. I only have dragon zombie and pumpkin. Wow. I just have so few that I just outright skipped them. Okay, so no zombies. Uh, we already checked plants, right? Any plants? I don't think so. Well, I guess I could throw this in. Nothing else. Um... Yeah, no plants either. Wow. Maybe I'll, next reincarnation, I'll do something really low, like around 12 deck costs. Try to get another Griggle. That honestly wouldn't be helpful for this deck. Uh, last card? I don't know. Let's just throw in Red Madison. You know, 805. Seems to be a pretty decent deck cost. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this episode and the deck editing. Uh, yeah. Appreciate you guys joining me. Sorry about the wait, but uh, yeah. Yeah, my phone had cut off there. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna save here, and in the next episode, we'll do a few more duels, uh, have a reincarnation, and then we'll make it a short 20 minute, uh, part, and, uh, yeah. Uh, do the do. Do the do. Really, do Alright, until next time, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> have a good day. Oh, man.